Welcome my YouTube channel, please subscribe be care about cup final. Jurgen Klopp and Mauricio Pochettino come full circle in managerial battle. Watch Chelsea versus Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final on Sunday from 2 p.m. Kickoff 3 p.m. Live on Sky Sports. Jurgen Klopp and Mauricio Pochettino will contest the Carabao Cup final on Sunday. Two managers cut from the same cloth that were on the same curve until five years ago. It is poetic that Jurgen Klopp's introductory crack at silverware in his final season at Liverpool comes against the manager he faced at the start of this era. The man who provided the initial barometer on how he wanted his team to play, and the one at whose expense he enjoyed the first crowning moment of his tenure. Mauricio Pochettino is also a football person. Klopp, to pinch his own words, could not have more respect for. Klopp explained, He was actually my first managerial opponent in the Premier League, and of course, we met in the Champions League final in 2019, and he has always done a brilliant job. He is also a great guy, left and right of the games that we play against one another. Relationships in football management can often be faux, forced, or frayed, but Klopp and the Argentine have a genuine appreciation for each other. For the majority of their tenures in the dugout, there has been a symmetry. Advocates of high-octane, progressive football even though their application of it differs. Klopp and Pochettino have also been project managers. The former's impact at Mainz and Borussia Dortmund still envelopes those clubs. Pochettino's work at Espanyol, Southampton, and Tottenham offered a framework that each continues to reference. They are also united by the A person first, player second approach. Take, for example, the summer of 2017 when a member of Liverpool's staff had spent an age rattling off new signing Andy Robertson's professional data to Klopp. He got to the end of his list of important points before the manager responded, how can you not know that he is going to become a father for the first time? That's the biggest thing in his life now. Come on. At Southampton, Pochettino noticed there was emotional turbulence blocking Adam Lalana's performances. He held the midfielder back after one training session and found out that the club's chairman at the time, Nicola Cortese, had been the culprit. I remember Adam was under unbelievable pressure, Pochettino explained. It was because the chairman kept calling him before and after games complaining about the result or the performance. I called the chairman and said, please, stop calling Adam. When you have problems, call me instead. He is the captain. You cannot put the pressure of the entire club on his shoulders. Come on. It stopped and bam. Adam was our best player that season. Both managers believe you cannot guide or maximize the talents of anyone if you cannot understand them. A footballer's attributes in and out of possession is easy to gauge, but more significant is what drives and underpins them as a human, their support structure, beliefs, habits, and real lives. Klopp's unlocking of Roberto Firmino and Pochettino's transformation of Harry Kane speaks to the above. Aside from greatly enhancing the playing identity and ambitions of clubs, as well as improving those they've trained, Klopp and Pochettino allowed Liverpool and Tottenham to develop world-class infrastructure without performance upheaval. For so long, their journeys felt aligned. While that has not changed in terms of who they are, how they perceive football, and their coaching fundamentals, there has been a departure over the past five years. While Klopp crafted Liverpool into a powerhouse before conquering with them, Pochettino was denied tools at Tottenham and then plumped for jobs in Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea with resources but distress. To understand the divergence, we have to revisit the start.